from the Atlas Center at the University of Colorado. This is News Team Boulder. Hello, and I'm Ron Burgundy, and welcome to News Team Boulder. TV is finally becoming real. 3D dimensional images are expected to jump out of movie theaters and into living rooms this year. Panasonic, Sony, <coughs> and other ma major TV manufacturers are releasing 3D TV to the general public this summer. The TV comes with their own pair of 3D goggles and enough that the whole family can enjoy ESPN. Uh, enjoy. ESPN is currently taking part in the news product by Test recording some sporting events in the three, in 3D that would make players appear to be jumping out of the screen during live broadcasts. The cost of 3D TV is not yet set, but with companies are estimating they will run consumers around $2,000. Yesterday, the University of Colorado crew coach found a dead boy in the Boulder <laughs> Reservoir during their daily morning practice. The 46-year-old man by the name of Mark Ferrant Farron was found face down in the water. The coach immediately contacted authorities. According to police, Heffron was reported missing and they estimate that the boy may have been in the water for a day or two before found. Heffron was wearing clothes suitable for going into the water, but authorities declined to give more information. The coroner's office believed that there was no foul play involved, but are still waiting for more details confirming Heffron's time and manner of death. <laughs> At this time, the coroner's office suspect that he possibly drowned, but again, no information has been released. Coming up next, a family is reunited with their dog after several months of being apart. Stay tuned. Do I look like a coming contender to you? All I want is newspaper. Why don't you bring that bottle over here? I won't be spitting it back at you. All right, boy, why don't you bring that bottle over here to co-mail so these boys stop bickering and ruin my night. How to what? A miraculous event brings a family and their dog back together over the weekend. The Yellow Lab, by the name of Bruno, was founded by two women who lived in, in Mount Lake Terrace, Washington, 3,000 miles away from his home. Kristen Abercrombie and Valerie Benedict took the lab to, to the vet to check for a microchip. The lab was registered to Rick Smith, who was uh, contacted immediately after. The Smith family, who was searching for the lab for months, moved to Virginia Beach not too long ago. The family says they assumed Bruno t had died, and it <laughs> took them... Uh, and that he died, but he was still alive. The family is currently preparing a flight uh, to get Bruno home safely. Thanks for joining us today on News Team Boulder. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Boulder. I hate you both. <laughs> I hate